Hello chess lovers. I think all of you know that there are a lot of weak teams playing at the 43rd chess Olympiad and seeing peace blunders was expectable. But the thing which shocked me was that women participants can even manage to get mated in 9 or 10 moves. I know, I know, you will remind me my words that female logic can't be explained, but guys, let's have a look at those two games which sent me to knockout. These two games are taken from matches played between Jamaica and Gambia, and now let's have a look at a game played between Margot Williams and Mariama Krubali. William started the game with d4 and the Gambian chess player responded with Dutch defense f5, bishop f4, knight a6, uh, dubious decision definitely, e3, g6, if the knight weren't on a6 square I could understand that black goes for Dutch Leningrad but we have a knight on the rim and I can't understand what's going on, c3, knight f6, knight d2, bishop g7, Knight f3 and knight g4. What is this knight doing on g4 square? Bishop d3. And finally, Gambian player understood that this knight on a6 is misplaced and moved it back. Knight b8, queen b3. White is taking under control the a to g8 diagonal. b6, knight g5. And overlooking white's next threat, black decided to proceed with the development. Bishop b7. After which, on move 10, white announced a check made by playing queen f7. And now let's have a look at another game played between two representatives of these countries. In this game, Fatou Jabi from Gambia was playing against Ariel Barrett. And she started the game with e4, e5 by Barrett, d3, knight c6, bishop d2, bishop c5, knight c3, d6. Of course, I could somewhat understand the idea hidden behind bishop d2, but the move which followed after d6 is beyond my perception. f3 is on the board. Bishop takes g1, rook takes g1, queen h4 check, black queen is jumping on h4 square with double attacks. King e2, of course playing g3 and giving away the pawn on h2 could have been better, but in the game we see king e2, which allows the knight to jump into the game, knight d4 check, king e3 and black captured on h2. Here white played knight d5, creating a very nasty threat, but forgot about the rook hanging on g1 square and after queen takes g1, we see a check made on the board. I know you were expecting a better quality chess from my channel, but I just wanted to show you that even at World Chess Olympiad such crazy games can occur. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you. For more games consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you in the next video.